Welcome to my channel. If you are new on my channel and you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Love what you see. Tap the bell for automatic notifications on new video posts. I took the liberty to link the products I used in the tutorial and list them in the description box with the links to some cheap vendors that sell the products on Amazon. Be sure to check those out for your added convenience. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, this is I am Vanessa McClam coming at you with part three of the pink and purple haze makeup tutorial. In this video, we're doing a light contour. I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany around my forehead, under my cheeks, and around the bridge of my nose. Another one of my favorite concealers um, is Suede Mocha from Black Opal. It's actually a foundation stick, but I use it to contour with. Um, it's really creamy and it glides on really smooth. So you can use both to get a more dramatic effect. And I'm using this flat top stippling brush from Vanity Planet's palette. Um, this is one of my favorite brushes to apply my foundation and blend my contour with. Um, it just really glides on really good and I can get a good blend with the with the brush. After that's blended, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast to puff up these lashes, honey. If you don't know me by now, you should know this is my favorite mascara favorite. I love this mascara. Okay, now let's moisturize these luscious lips, honey. I'm just using Vaseline to go in and moisturize my lips. And now it's time to glow, baby doll. I went to MAC and I went and asked for a sample of MAC's Gold Deposit. It's a loose powder sample, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, I'm just dabbing it on my finger and then adding it to the brush. And this is an angled contour brush that I have. I would usually opt for the fan brush or even the blush brush, but since I'm applying this with my finger, I don't want to get too messy, so I'm going to use this brush. So I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know if I really like the um, glow that is gold the golden glow or the pink glow so um, that's why I went to Mac and just got a sample of this because I wanted to see how it looks like with my skin tone and I'm applying that um, around my cheek area my chin my cupid's bow my nose and my forehead So check out my eyes. I am about to go in now and clear up any um, little areas with my eyebrow pencil and just kind of get the perfect, perfect shape. You want to have a really good transitioning effect from the middle brow or <laughs> from your nose region. Uh, because you don't want to get it too, you don't want to have it too thick because then it looks fake. So you want to have like a gradual um, blend of your eyebrows from the middle of or the bridge of your nose. Now, I'm not fully satisfied with the gold deposit, so I'm applying my Cheeky Bronze by MAC 
to kind of give it more of a um, glow effect. Now I'm applying a few coats of Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. This is a liquid uh, lipstick and it dries off in a matte finish. So it's really important. Uh, the step before was to apply some sort of moisture like Vaseline, a lip balm to your lips prior to adding the matte because it'll really dry out your lips. Um, so just do that step before. And I'm going to apply another coat. You just let it dry for a little bit so it won't look so cakey. And then apply another coat. Now I'm using Max Peach Stock. It's a satin matte lipstick. And I'm going to apply that to the center of my lips for a more ombre effect. This is more like a nude lip color. You can apply as many coats as you want, um, but just be mindful. You don't want it to look too cakey. So now I'm going in with my Maybelline Peach Craze Gloss. And it's basically to add a little more shine. Um, I'm not a fan of the matte lipstick in the nude. So I'm going to add a, the, a gloss to make it pop a little more. Now this is the entire look of my makeup. So now I'm going to start unraveling this satin scarf now that my makeup is complete. So I'm taking down this scarf. This satin scarf is everything, you guys. It's from Evolve. And it pretty much um, helps me to control my frizzies. Um, so I like to use this to kind of help me um, stretch out my hair and tame my hair. Let me get my little baby hairs in the front. And I put the two ponytails in my hair to kind of stretch it out. Um, so I'd have a little bit of length. And I've been doing this uh, curl defining journey, honey. So I'm learning to keep my hair moisturized daily. And I'm using this special curl concoction. And it's just been everything, you guys. Check out the curl definition in my hair right now. Like, it's never been so moisturized and feels it feels so luscious, you guys. So I'm taking my Max Prep and Prime and I'm spraying my face to finish my face. And now onto my hair. Just fluffing that out. And uh, whenever you're stretching out your hair, you guys, you want to take the elastic bands, no rubber bands, to stretch out your hair because it can damage and pull out your hair. So I use the two elastic bands in the front to elongate the sides and give me more, of a, more length. Okay, I also have one in the back to give me a little more length in the back as well. Yes, honey, I love these curls, oh my goodness. My hair has never been so curly, you guys. My hair's always been that 4C type where there's no true curl definition. And ever since I've been using uh, my special curly concoction, it's just been working out so well for me, you guys. So, yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to tame my edges down here and just fluff it up a little bit. And I'm out. I'm actually on my way to work, so you see my scrubs on. Shake it a little bit. It's got movement. That's what I love. So, yes. Thank you guys for tuning into this tutorial. I had so much fun with you girls kind of breaking down this pink and purple haze look for um, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
For more information, check out the nationalbreastcancer.org to get the free breast health guide. It discusses a variety of topics like healthy habits, assessing personal risks, signs and symptoms, early detention. It also talks about the stages and types of cancer. To find out how to get a free mammogram, contact your local American Cancer Society. You can visit them at cancer.org or call your local office at 1-800-227-2345. Ask about clinics in your area that give mammograms free of charge. Also, on October 28th, I'll be participating in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer of North Texas, an event affiliated with the American Cancer Society. So show your support by donating to my team, Get Up and Go Movement Against Cancer. Click the link in the description box um, to get to the website. No amount is too small to help in the fight for cancer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like and be sure to comment below. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I'm out, you guys. Peace. Want to see what's going on in my world on a daily basis? Follow me on Instagram at I am Vanessa McClam. No spaces, all one word. To get a glimpse of my life outside of YouTube and for more hair and beauty ideas. For business related inquiries, you can email me at I am Vanessa McClam at gmail.com. I'm always looking for new products to review and small businesses to expose. Have an awesome day and thanks again for tuning in.